Hi guys, it's Crano. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, uh, as requested, what uh, my camera setup looks like on my helmet. Uh, sorry about the crackling noise and maybe you might hear the baby on the background, it's my newborn and the crackling noise is uh, my dog chewing on a bone. Um, but anyway, back to the point, I guess um, to talk about my setup, as you may have already seen in my previous video, that's where I mount my camera. And the reason why it's up here, not down there, like most guys do, is because of the shape of this helmet. This, the sticky um, surface doesn't sit flush on the side here. It leaves gaps. So when it leaves gaps, it doesn't have a good um, grab and it doesn't hold tight. So um, I've actually tried and it almost fell off the helmet. So the only surface that really sticks really well is on the top here. And I don't want it up there. Try and have it as low as possible, and that was the only point because um, it's got this crease on this particular helmet that goes across that way and as it goes down here it, it's very narrow not enough surface and this mount is very wide um, so pretend that the, the actual case is up there let's imagine that the case is sitting there actually I might just go and grab my spare one and um, I'll be back and uh, and trying to give you guys more of a realistic approach of what it looks like okay so basically um, that's where the the mount sits. Imagine the camera that I'm recording with now is inside here. Um, yes, it does look like it's pointing up, but when your helmet tilts, um, it shows down. That's that's just the way it's positioned at the moment. I, it actually might be a little bit too high. Yeah, it does look like it's a bit high, but anyway, imagine that it's the, that's it sits. It's positioned right. It's there. So uh, this is not the case that I actually use. I've got another one that I've drilled and removed these bits off um, and drilled a hole underneath so the the microphone can sit in there. And the microphone that I generally use um, is this particular one. This is what it is, and that's the plug. The plug is huge, yes. It was the wrong plug um, attached to it, but I, I use it because I drilled a big enough hole to for this to go in. It does work really well. Um, I don't keep this clip on there. Uh, that little thing there. That comes off, I take that off. And I'll show you what I basically do. So, let's imagine this is a hole. This plug goes in there. It's inside. And I'm just going to leave it over that way. Take that out. Oh, I'll show you what our camera, the, the microphone actually looks like. Um, tiny. Stereo. Very little. So I just keep this on there to protect it from wind noise. And uh, so basically I feed the, the microphone through down here, take all the excess cable down as well. Um, if you're getting a custom one made you can ask for a shorter one, but you never know when you might need it. So what I do is I roll it around, leave about that much out, or this much out. Yeah. And I feed it through under the visor, goes underneath, through there, comes out from the the side, inside. And what I do is if you can see the cheek pad there, I put this inside, right in between, so it's out of the way. It may not be neat right now, but you know, that's how I do it, I, I fix it. Um, later on um, and that basically the microphone where it sits I can't really see it's a bit too dark in my garage but I put a velcro down there and that sits inside the velcro and I put velcro it around it sticks onto the front of the where the, where the mouth, mouth area is and and that's how you hear the sound. Now, what I notice, guys, is my tip from experience is don't have your microphone sitting up like that. Have it sitting on the side, which, whichever way you want to have it. Your call that way or the other way. Because um, when you have it like this, your nose comes down and you breathe onto it and you hear a lot of noise. And as well as this front bit on the top, if your helmet has air coming down for ventilation, it hits the actual microphone. So if you have it on the side and have the Velcro over it like that, it sort of covers it this way and the, the sound comes from the, the side and there's no not a lot, lot of wind coming through. 
So that's, that's my microphone set up. So if you have any other questions, guys, and if I didn't cover it well enough, please let me know. I'm not a professional here doing how-tos or reviews. Um, but if you, if you feel that this wasn't, you know, um, clear enough for you, let me know. I'll do another video um, to clarify any questions that you might have. But if you're not, um, if, you, if you're happy with it, I should say, um, well, you know, hopefully you did enjoy it and you learnt something out of it. And good luck making your own videos, guys. And I, I, the only thing I would suggest is make sure you have quality microphone. This microphone is sensational. Um, Otherwise, please feel free to like um, or even dislike the video. It's only up to you. It's your, it's your call. And, uh, and uh, if you want to see more videos, um, subscribe.